Hey guys, what is up and welcome to the FIF 17 Yu-Gi-Oh! Career Mode. So, uh, as you can guess, basically, we do not have any more games before the transfer window, so uh, we're not going to be able to make any transfers uh, for a good portion of the season. But obviously, Ducore and a couple others have accepted their transfer offers, so we do have better squad depth, and I think we can survive up until this point. And also, um, when we're playing the game, I am going to use a online simulator. I'm going to have a deck, and I'm going to use a Yu-Gi-Oh deck simulator to choose the players, that or a wheel. Either one of those two, as I want to randomize this, because I feel as if Selecting the players myself uh, doesn't really lend itself to the Yu-Gi-Oh theme, which one or two, a couple people have rightly pointed out that it doesn't lend to that theme, and therefore I'm just trying to do something to fix that, so hopefully that is all good. So, last hour of transfer deadline day, good news for us, as at the moment we are not going to be forced into the sale of any of our players. It's great to see, and yeah. That's it for the transfer window. Alright, so we're going to be getting into the match versus Swansea here. So, we have had a very, very good run of form, and uh, definitely looking to continue that on. So, keeping the same team as mandated by the rules of the series, so hopefully we can go on, get a victory, and be in good straights for the... Europa League campaign. Alright, so we're getting into the first match of the episode. We are playing at Swansea, and we are looking to continue our semi-decent league form, I'd say. We've been on and off. I think we had two wins, two draws, so definitely looking to achieve some consistency. And hopefully we can do that in this match. So obviously Swansea have some great players that we could potentially get in the next window. I'm thinking potentially a Gilfy Sigurdsson. However, I will be instituting a random system to ensure that I cannot make these picks on my own. So, Swansea, they're running a 4-3-3. They have Fernando Lorente, Jefferson Montero, and Nathan Dyer up top. They have Jordan Ayew, who's surprisingly on the substitutes bench, which I find quite interesting. Either way, our lineup uh, unchanged from before. It's a 4-3-2-1. Mark Noble, obviously a key cog in the midfield. It's Gonzalez. It's Gonzalez. We lead early into the game. 12 minutes in, we establish the one nothing lead against Swansea. Great play from Shalaba. Gonzalez comes in and just smacks it into the far corner there. Great goal, great team play. The keeper didn't stand a chance there. We lead 1-0 early on. It's Rico Henry. Oh, what a ball there. It's Swansea. No, it's a goal. Swansea, get the goal there. Gilfy Sigurdsson, horrible luck for us. Absolutely horrid there. Zuma did well, but ah, uh, you gotta be kidding me. Get a huge early goal and then we concede to that crap. Uh, Mark Noble has just sucked so far today. I don't think there's any way to, other than that to uh, describe his performance or lack therefore of it. Oh man, just ah, oh, we've had good play, man. We just need to get a goal here. Oh my goodness, what a save by Thibaut Courtois, man. We are running to real problems here. It's Masanda! What in the freaking world? He shot a goal! It's Gonzalez on the double! Gonzalez puts it away, and that is relief for me. I couldn't believe that Masanda missed that chance, but Gonzalez was calm, cool, collected, took his chance, and put it right into the back of the net. Huge goal there. We lead yet again. Oh man. 
Are you f kidding me? They come right back and score again. Our defense is unbelievably poor. This has just got to be a joke. This has got to be a joke. Just like our defense. Oh, I can't believe this. We have to score another goal. Ah, oh, you'd think we could win with a two-goal performance, man. This team isn't built to score a ton of goals, so when we do, it's something you'd hope your defense could actually back up for you. Again, our fullbacks are being exposed for the absolute utter trash they truly are. Oh my goodness, I hate Sigurdsson, that stupid Icelandic prick. Oh my god, we've drawn against Swansea. What can I say? Our defense is absolute utter shit. I can't, I just can't believe it. We, we defensively, this is embarrassing. Alright, so this is the lineup I have chosen to use for the match. Versus Spartak Moscow. Uh, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. Um, that draw against Swansea was an utter embarrassment. Uh, we really shouldn't have conceded either two of those goals. Our defense just went to sleep. Ake has just been just terrible during that game, but there's nothing I can do at this point. Um, just just an embarrassment from Ake. Alright, so we're getting into the match versus Spartak Moscow. So I've made a bunch of changes, uh, obviously, as we are using a different deck or team for each tournament. So we are going to hopefully have a much better performance in this game than we did against Swansea because offensively we were fantastic but defensively we were absolute utter trash so yeah it's just frustrating you'd expect better from a team even with a lot of the t players gone uh, you still expect better so regardless though so, Spartak Moscow, they have Luis Adriano, um, they have, uh, Quincy Promes would be someone who'd be really interesting if we got, uh, lucky enough, and, uh, forget the first thing, at least actually try to win a game. But yeah, a bunch of changes we've made, kept the same formation, it's a 4-3-2-1, so, Ducouré makes his debut, Shrievers and Kennedy replace, uh, in the front two, and then Vitek comes in at left back, so... Let's just get a victory. Let's just get a victory. Come on. Seabay Shrievers here. It's Shriever off the crossbar. Off the crossbar. Just an inch lower, and that's a goal. That would have been a huge, huge goal. It's Kennedy. It's Kennedy. Oh my god. No. No. You gotta put that away. You gotta put that away. Our finishing has just been pathetic. Kennedy. That's the best chance you'll easily have in this episode. Todd Kane! Oh my god, that was horrible. Our, just, we can't put chances away. Like, we're getting good chances, but our finishing is just our worst aspect of our game by far. And there we go, it's halftime. We should be leading. Uh, it's, it's just plain and simple. Like, we're not getting our chances away. We're just not doing things right. And uh, sooner or later, we're going to be punished. Kennedy, uh, Kennedy, you're getting off. You're going off. I specifically said to do a Burba spin. You can enjoy your time on the bench. Okay, I'm gonna take out a uh, Noble, and uh, yeah, those are gonna be the changes we need to bring in some new players. Uh, we're tired, so. Spashuai here, Spashuai. Some Sonda. Oh no, that touch, that touch killed it. And we've drawn against Spartak Moscow. Our play has been nothing short of disappointing. This game, Kennedy should have won it for us early on. I'm not sure who to get to uh, mad at, because everybody's just missing chances. Everybody's screwing up. Uh, I'm not sure to say. Uh, we were just absolutely poor in this game. We took a chance or two. Easily could have been our game, but uh, in typical fashion so far this season, we have not done absolutely anything worthwhile. Uh, to put it as an extreme disappointment is an understatement. We have not been good enough, we have not played good enough, we clearly do not have good enough players in the positions other than Courtois goalkeeper, Zuma at center back, and maybe Bashuai. Other than that, not good enough. 
and it's becoming pretty darn clear with every more passing game. So, that's your save. Either way, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, the first action filled game and uh, whatever that was, the second game. Either way, I will see you guys later. Peace!